con men make you the victims. The amazing tricks that even neighborhood gamblers use to rip you off. We'll look at it today and meet a young girl who made news for exposing what she says is a million dollar fraud that's cost wood, wouldn't you? Would. Even fall. you, tough guy with the facial hair. That's right. Well, I <laughs> money. How do they do it? We are going to reveal all secrets of a scam artist. Come on back, please join us. I feel that everybody falls for scam and everybody does scam other people some way or another. So everybody's a scam, yet everybody is scammed. Wow, well that's what the show's about today. Um, we actually used you in a little test before the show. Uh, we set up something to see if you would fall for it, audience. Watch yourselves. Uh, my name is Brett, and I'm head of security with Paramount. And we're going to take your car, move it to the roof, and then we're going to return your car keys to you. We have to do this. Your first and last name, make and model of your car. If you know your license plate number, please put it down. Okay, if you want okay to now I've got to tell you, you people were lining up to give your keys to a perfect stranger. Who, he offered no identification. There was no reason for you to believe that they had to move the cars. It was entirely a scam. And I have your keys to give back to you. I just want you to know that. Look at the, look at the keys we got. You did very well with the keys. Thank you very much. All right, where are you? Uh, Alexis Williams, where are you? All right, Alexis gave over the keys. And so you won't feel bad. Autumn, Autumn, where are you? We've got your autumns down in front. Now, Alexis, you gave your keys over to that man. What were you thinking? I didn't even think about it. I oh, wouldn't question it. <laughs> you just, and, and do you have a nice car that you just let him drive? I wouldn't just get to him, though. <laughs> Not only could I have had their car keys, but a lot of these people gave me the keys to their house, their offices on the very same key ring. I could have taken their car, gone to their house, cleaned them out before the show was even finished. And you know what? He's probably done it before. This, <laughs> this is Brett Champion. He is a con man. He's also the author of a book called America's Guide to Fraud Prevention. And there's a lot of good information there. It's, but you know what? It's like what Ian says. It's a trust thing, isn't it? They're your keys. <laughs> what? My mom's going to kill me when she sees this. And well, she should. Well, she should. But I don't want people to feel too badly. Because first of all, lots of people fall for it. And we are, we did set up um, a, a legitimate kind of a contest, right? Yes, we certainly did, and we are going to be giving away a brand new Ferrari to someone in the studio audience today. Whoa! Because we don't want you to throw the other car. And do we have videotape for telling the audience about that too, right? We sure do. Here's what happened when we told everybody about the car, which is a good thing. Hey, you guys, how you doing? My name's Brett. I'm one of the executive producers of The Lisa Show. And we've gotten an, almost enough people for this contest we're going to have here. We just need a few more people. At the end of the show today, we're going to be giving away a brand new car, a Ferrari, to one lucky member of the studio audience. And we need about five more people to enter. It's $5. The money goes to charity. You fill out this form if you'd like to enter. And one person in the audience, and there's only about 100 people in the audience, so your odds will be about 100 to 1, will be going home today with a brand new Ferrari. So I want to pass out one of these to each one of you. And a pen. And whoever doesn't win the car, the money goes to charity. It goes to Children's Cancer Society. And now, I don't want you guys, you guys are back here laughing because you think you're going to be ripped off, don't you? But, I, but what, what, are you embarrassed? Well, yeah, I'm really embarrassed. I gave someone my social security number and some money. And, well, I figured I could always sue you if worse came to work. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, but you guys, we are giving away the car. I don't know why they don't buy it. That's true. I've got all the money right here. We are going to be giving away the car. We have drawn one lucky winner's name all from right. the studio audience. And that person is Lee Sanford. Is Lee Sanford. Lee! Where, is that you? Is that you? Stand up, Lee. Now, what, you're, you're going to get the car. Yeah, and how... <laughs> Is it a Matchbox car? <laughs> Show her the prize! Can we have a drum roll, please? We're gonna bring out the brand new 1997 Ferrari! Where is it? Oh my god, here it is. <laughs> it's your Come get your car! Come on down! <laughs> I hope you have a 
insurance. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Drive safely. Did you give up the money? Yes, I did. I, was, I think it was the first to open my purse. <laughs> Because a Ferrari for $5, there's a chance. There's yes. a chance. Yep. You guys think you're so cool, but you all suckered for it, and yeah. I would have too. The thing, of course, that really scares us about cons is um, there, it's a con because you usually have no idea that you're being victimized. But coming up, how not to be ripped off by dating, weight loss, and even pet scams. And I've been burnt more than once. We'll talk about it next. Honest. <laughs> Who's turned now on our side, and he is uh, educating people on how not to get ripped off. And you're doing it in very public ways. I mean, you're the fraud consultant for Dateline, right? Yes, I've appeared on Dateline NBC as an expert on fraud, among many other top-rated TV shows. Because you know firsthand. Because I know firsthand. Um, I'm wondering, like, if you're this great kind of scan con artist, and can you explain to me why you ended up in jail for all this? Oh. And, <laughs> and what you do? We want to know. Well, I'll explain it to you. I was a professional con artist for 15 years straight, and I made multi-millions of dollars over 15 years. And sooner or later, if you commit any kind of a crime, you are going to get caught. I was just luckier than most. What did you get caught it. for? My last fraud that I participated in was a phony oil well investment deal. I sold shares in oil wells that didn't exist. He conned me before our last show. <laughs> he introduced himself as someone that he wasn't. I totally went there, and he busted me and said, I got gotcha. you. Um, it's just in your nature, I guess, isn't it? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, people, though, who are vulnerable are often exploited. It seems when they're their most needy, they're so susceptible to, like, weight loss scams. Absolutely. Some popular scams I'd like to talk about today are the weight loss scams, dating scams, and pet scams. The weight loss scams play upon people's hope that they're going to lose weight without having to do anything. They're not going to have to diet. They're not going to have to take a little pill and sit there and eat pizza all night, and they're going to lose 100 pounds. <laughs> so they take a picture of a skinny person and a fat person and say, this is what you look like if you do this. It's not going to work, folks. Well, sometimes it does look like the same person, but they just put a new body on there, right? <laughs> a new body. It's photo retouching, all kinds of different things they do. What about the pet scams? Because I lost two little dogs. They were dog napped. I was su such a sucker, though. I hired the pet detective, had them going out searching. <laughs> and also, uh, we, we got sucked in by someone who called and said, we found the dog. And we said, oh, yeah, describe the dog. And they went through, of course, it was on all the flyers. And it was in the paper, the description of the dog. I don't know why we thought that was such a magical thing. We go there with the reward money, and we're being so tough. You know, my husband says, all right, first show us the dog, then we'll give you the money. So, you know, he's a big bad guy. So they, they showed the dog up in the window. It was a stuffed animal. <laughs> and we gave the money. They ran out the back with the money, and that was that. They're a little it's more mean. clever how they do it right now, Lisa. What they do now is they look through the newspapers when you put an ad in that says you've lost your pet, and they'll call you and say, well, they're in San Diego. They found your pet, and they didn't know who it belonged to, so they took it back home. And if you'd like us to bring you your pet all the way back, you're going to have to send us $100 or $200, whatever, for the reward. And we'll be glad to do that for you. Yeah. Good information in your book. Thank you for embarrassing our audience, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Let me introduce you 